I was in Africa for a month and a half, and I'm tired. I'm in a bush. I fly over from there to south to uh, Australia, from uh, Joburg to uh, Sydney. And, uh, you know, and I work in Australia for a month and a half. Miss Hogan fly, flew down to meet me and all this. It's awesome. I go over to New Zealand, and I work there for three or four weeks. And then I'm going home now, Miss Hogan and I. And I'm so pleased with God because he, these long-haul flights are just absolutely torturous. And I do it all the time, a lot now. And so when God takes it, and I like to stay with this one company, and they're always now, because of so many miles and all that, they let me go up in that awesomeness world. <laughs> and so I'm so happy, Miss Hogan and I have been bumped up into first class, and I feel so important. So I get in line. I'm actually in line boarding the plane, and they call my name on the thing. And they say, we're sorry, but we got to bump you back. <clears throat> I apologize to you, but my humanity showed up. I said to the lady, no. Do you understand? I'm tired. I've been gone for four months. I am just tired. I've been in the bush Hours, days, weeks. I, I just want to lay down on that thing. I just want somebody to come tuck me in and feed me T-bones. I want that. She said, not going to happen this time. So I took my seat back there where they got the chickens in the crates. <laughs> so go back there. <laughs> you want some water? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was real Billy really being nice. <laughs> no. Okay. And this guy all of a sudden starts bucking. I'm going, are you serious? <laughs> I mean, that joker is letting off gas. He's belching. He's, he's banging the chair. He's having some kind of crazy fit. <laughs> and Ms. Hogan just turned and looked at me. I told you. <laughs> God didn't need you up yonder. He needs you back here. <laughs> now you get over yourself and act like who you really are. So you just might as well take it and shut up because she's right. <laughs> the guy all of a sudden stopped. And I go, yeah. And Ms. Hogan goes, David, he's dead. I said, no way. <laughs> she said, raise him from the dead. I said, I will not. If they cart him off, I can just push his chair up. <laughs> see, 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 I will publicly humiliate myself to show you how human all of us really are and how our thoughts are not God's thoughts. They're not. That ain't right. You can't be like that. Well, why don't you stop and teach me? Okay. So, 
this is bizarre. Miss Hogan, ah, oh, she just, she, she's out of her mind. She just climbs up a tweet. There ain't that much space. Sticks her head in there. You got a dead man over here. The woman, the wife is freakazoid. Doctors are there. All these people's doing that stuff they do. Miss Hogan's looking at me. Get up here and raise him from the dead. I, said, I will not. I have been doing this for five months straight. I'm having an off day. Okay, I, and I told the doctors, y'all excuse me, these women, I don't know, something's wrong with these ladies here. And the doctor goes, we can't do nothing. I said, I can't. He said, the doctor said to me, the man's dead. I said, Pff. No, I work for a guy. <laughs> and he is so awesome. His name is Jesus. And I understand you people. Say, I did the you people word. You people don't believe him. But I'm fixed to give you a lesson in who he is. Now, I asked the head, uh, what do you call it, purser. I asked that lady, I says, do you mind if I raise this guy from the dead? She looked at me. I don't know of any rules against it. I said, okay, all right. It's true. <laughs> they haven't thought up far enough ahead. So, I told you this was fun. That's the best one yet. Where's Miss Deborah? This is the best one yet. Best one yet, thanks. Give my compliments to whoever made it. So. <laughs> the lights come on. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I lost my embarrassment, and my fear of man, and my give a flying flip button. I'm serious. I put my hands on it. I'm over him now. All these people, you know what I mean? How close these people are. And they're just <laughs> watching. Jesus, first of all, I apologize to you about my humanity earlier. <laughs> but I can't seem to get over that part. So I ask you for mercy for this fellow right here. And would you please not let anything else happen so my wife will go to sleep. <laughs> now you come back here in Jesus' name. And I'm telling you, everybody on that plane, on our, back there with the chickens, <laughs> this guy, he went, <gasps> <sighs> Oh. Oh. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh. Uh, we land in Los Angeles. And so I get up, you know, I'm getting Ms. Hogan's backpack and, you know, organizing my stuff. Could I just sleep? I was now, I'm, <laughs> and, uh, 
Miss Hogan went right to sleep and I don't know how many hours she slept, lots. Because see, she felt safe again. She got her dead raising friend back. Now, let me just tell you how awesome it is. We're getting off now. We're fixing to go through customs, right? And that man and that woman, that man turned around and he looked at me. He said, I ain't felt this good in years. I said, I need you to go to your doctor. I need you to get checked out. You're probably going to find yourself healed. I said, I don't know what the name of the thing was. It killed you, probably heart. Look, the way I saw you acting, it's probably a heart problem. Probably congestive heart failure is what it seemed like. I've been around it a lot. But go and, get, go and, go and have your heart checked out. I'm pretty sure you got a new one. He said, do you understand how awesome it is to have you sitting that close to me? I said, I do understand that. I do understand how awesome it is. And his wife grabbed my hand and she put her head, her head down, her, her cheek. You understand, you understand this or not? Thank you for giving me my husband back. I said, you know I didn't do that. She said, I know you didn't. But I saw you. You're not afraid. Jesus loves you. Boy, it just made me, I started crying. I, I felt humiliated because of my earlier attitude and all of this. <laughs> but I had to be there. That's what heroes do. They raise the dead. They cleanse the lepers. They cast out demons. And they heal the sick. And they do it on purpose. Yeah. See? All right. 